Oh, hi, hi, everyone. It is Craig back at Disney Springs for another Disney Dining Review. Before I get started, I want to remind you this is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you like our content and you want to support us, please book a vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. It costs you no extra money and you get the support of an awesome Dreams Unlimited Travel agent. So head to dreamsunlimitedtravel.com today for a free no obligation quote. Now, I... <laughs> I don't know why I am back at Disney Springs standing outside of Deluxe Burger, but I actually do, and that is because I am eating here once again. The last time I did a review here at Disney Springs, it was at Deluxe Burger, and actually it was the last review I've done completely, so I feel like I am just living the same moment over again, but for a very different reason. Uh, last time I mentioned that I had to change what I wanted to get a chicken sandwich, the buffalo chicken sandwich here, because I was gonna come here for one of the specialty burgers, the lime or orange garage burger. I can't remember which one exactly. Uh, but then when I saw there was two, I was like, nope, can't do two today. I'm gonna wait for Rhino and then come back and do it. Well, turns out that Rhino is keeping himself locked down right now before we have to leave for Alaska. So I'm here and I'm going to get both of them and I'm gonna decide which one of the two is the better or if they're both bad i don't know it can end up being that way but yeah i'm not i'm not emotionally prepared for two burgers i'm not physically ready for two but it's it's gonna have to happen because by the time we make it back from alaska it's gone so it's now or never i'll go over all of the details about the burgers once i have them and i'm sitting down but get ready it's gonna be a lot my burgers have been delivered to the table and I honestly was not expecting this much food. It is a lot. These are massive, massive burgers and they are stacked. So it's gonna be very difficult eating all of this because it is like two full meals. I'm very glad I didn't get french fries, but you know what? I'm gonna eat until I'm full and then I will stop. I'm gonna eat it all. I just can't, I can't be controlled. I, I just have to. If it's in front of me, I'm gonna end up eating it. But. Just a reminder, again, I did get the Lime Garage Burger and the Orange Garage Burger. They are very similar, but just slightly different. And these are limited time options, so they are leaving in mid-August. You probably won't have a chance to get them, and I apologize for that. I know a little bit more you know, content that would be good for your upcoming trips in the future would be a lot better, but when I saw them, I couldn't not get them. And in my specific situation right now, I believe I'm going to start with the Lime Garage Burger. Uh, $12.49, it is a pressed signature blend patty, citrus braised pork belly, lime avocado crema, pepper jack cheese, fried green tomato, and lettuce. And I will just say, it is green, which makes me think of the Lime Garage. So I feel like, yeah, that's, uh, that's accomplishing that mission. And there's a lot of the avocado crema on here, the lime avocado crema, but I think that's gonna sell a lot of the flavor for it. Obviously, I'm expecting a lot of salt with the burger and that pork belly, but you never know how it's actually gonna go. So, oh, I didn't cut this one, I probably should have. I'm gonna go in for a very big first bite. Hopefully I don't make a mess all over myself, and I'll report back. I'm halfway through with my Lime Garage Burger and I have to say I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I was correct, the main flavor I am getting from this is the avocado crema, the lime avocado crema, and that is very, very important to note because there is so, so much lime bursting through this. It is definitely citrus forward. And then the avocado crema just adds like a nice, refreshing flavor to the overall burger. Not nearly as salty as I was expecting, even with the pork belly and the beef and the cheese. So I feel like it was a little bit under seasoned, which always apparently seems to be the thing that I think about the food from here. But overall, it's really solid. The only thing I would probably drop is the fried green tomato. It adds nothing to this. Even when I took a bite of it, I really couldn't taste it. Like a bite of it by itself. It just kind of had that watery flavor, making me think of the buffalo chicken sandwich again. But besides that, I'm really enjoying this so far. We're gonna have to see how it stacks up to that Orange Garage Burger. I'm moving on to the Orange Garage Burger now, and let's go over what it is. Of course, it's $12.49, and it's a pressed signature blend patty, citrus braised pork belly, orange onion jam, pepper jack cheese, and lettuce. 
So where we had lime flavors in the Lime Garage Burger, of course this is going for orange, completely makes sense, and I expect this one to be very sweet and very citrus forward as well. But anytime you get the onion jam in there, you know, you get that extra level of sweetness. So I'm guessing there won't be enough saltiness to counteract all of the sweet in this. And, you know, it really just has the pork belly and the, the actual burger in order to combat the sweetness. Just doesn't seem like enough, but you know what? I'll give it a try before I judge it. Here goes nothing. I'm a little over halfway finished with the Orange Garage Burger, and this is going to be tough because I also really enjoy this. You know, this one is definitely seasoned better. There is a slight kick. I don't know if that's from the pepper jack cheese, if it's actually from the seasoning on the burger and the pork belly, but something about it, it's just, it's bringing a little bit more flavor. And speaking of flavor, I expected a ton of flavor and a ton of sweetness from that orange onion jam, and honestly, it's very, very mild. I was hoping for a lot more orange based on how much lime was in the Lime Garage Burger, and it's definitely not that for this one. Uh, it's definitely there. You can taste the orange. It's just not like slapping you in the face like a glass of orange juice would, I guess, is the best way to describe it. But it's balanced flavors because of that. A little bit salty, a little bit sweet, really nice combo. I'm gonna have to finish as much as I can of the other one and this one, and then give you my final verdict. I am an absolute monster because I finished both of those burgers and I have absolutely no regrets. I probably will later, but as of right now, I'm very happy with my decision. But where do I stand in all of this? Well, let me catch you back up to where it all ended. I was about halfway through with both of the burgers and then I went back to the lime burger and I was complaining at first that it was very citrus heavy and there wasn't enough saltiness to it, no spiciness to it. That completely changed. On my last couple of bites, I really, really started getting that salty, spicy flavor that I was hoping for, and the lime and the avocado crema wasn't really as much of a player anymore. So it ended up being a very well-balanced burger. Then on the Orange Garage Burger front, a lot of the uh, orange was really in those last couple bites for me, and I stopped getting so much of that salty, spicy flavor. So then that became a lot more balanced. So. Ultimately, they both were really good burgers, and I would get either one of them again in a heartbeat. If they were around longer, if they chose to add one of these to the menu, though, I would have to say the Lime Garage Burger was superior. I feel like overall, the Lime Avocado Crema just it, it was more refreshing for the entire burger. I, I still will say it did not need that fried green tomato on there. I would lose that. It, it's just, it's not necessary at all. But the, the flavors that it was going for, I feel like it actually really nailed. A little spicy, a little salty, that nice tanginess to it. It just was a really good burger. And that's not to say, again, the Orange Garage Burger wasn't. That was also very, very good, but ultimately, I feel like the sweetness from the orange onion jam is, it's just been done in so many places. Like, I feel like I just had a burger very, very uh, recently that also had uh, like a tomato onion jam on it. And that was like overly sweet and needed the spicy cheese to kind of balance it out. So I feel like, I feel like the sweetness from an onion jam is just done so much. And not to say that the, the lime avocado crema isn't, I just think that I, I gravitate more towards that flavor than the sweetness from the onion jam. So ultimately I would say, yeah, Lime Garage Burger was the winner. It's not my favorite garage. I park in the orange garage most of the time. And that's because mostly I go here for movies and not really so much for dining and shopping. If I am dining and shopping, chances are I'm parking at the Lime Garage like I did today. But orange garage, I'd say I park in there at least 75% of the time. So. I guess Orange Garage holds the place in my heart, but the Lime Garage Burger wins today. And I have said it. So with that, I'm gonna hopefully avoid Florida sun thunderstorms and I'm going to get out of here. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and leave comments, questions and video suggestions in the comment section below. If you want to support us more, you can always book a vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. Get a free no obligation quote today at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. But that's it for me here today at Disney Springs. I'll see you again real soon with another Disney dining review. Take care. Bye-bye.